All of the fears that women would somehow undermine the family, that women could not be good patriots if they had the vote, were magnified in 1919 by a decade of violence, of turmoil, of deportations, and of labor strikes. Historians sometimes call 1919 the year of the first Red Scare. When we look back at it, we see the pressures of African Americans who had served as soldiers during World War I for a bit more freedom, and a migration of black workers from south to north, where they seemed to threaten the jobs of an immigrant working class. Trade unions were not illegal, but organized protests and boycotts of workers were. So when workers struck for better wages, state troops often cruelly put them down. To combat growing fear of the Bolshevik revolution that had unleashed chaos in Tsarist Russia, the federal government rounded up communist and socialist sympathizers and deported immigrants suspected of anarchism. They wielded the club of citizenship rudely, depriving some, like Emma Goldman, who had earned her citizenship through her short-lived marriage of their status. Goldman and many of her friends were shipped back to the newly established Soviet Union in the winter of 1919. And the United States adopted new severe restrictions on the entry of immigrants, culminating in the 1924 law that set quotas on the influx. In light of these events, we need to be a little wary. While the exciting prospect of the vote for women offered a new form of freedom, many of the old racial, familial, and legal constraints continued, turning the 1920s into an exciting decade to be sure, but one that harbored great obstacles. The laws of coverture hadn't yet changed and the occupational structure remained sex segregated. Women had access to wage work, but fewer rights to work, especially if they were married. Within that context, the daily lives of women, especially young women, began to undergo dramatic changes. It's worth taking a look at those changes because they'll tell us something not only about how women began to think about themselves in new ways, but also how they would react to the economic depression that would begin in the late 1920s.